Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here. Gonna do an unboxing of a Vivitar Stars and Beyond telescope here. I grabbed this around Black Friday. This is like your medium range telescope. It's not too much of a kitty, but it's still for adults and it's in the middle. Um, it's not your full scale three or $400 telescope. Um, I grabbed this one for about 25 bucks around Black Friday. As you can see, it has a 60x, 120x refractor telescope, which means you can see far out. Um, as that you know, with the moon, with the 60, you can see close, and 120, you can possibly see the surface. And here is just some of the details here. Interchangeable 60 times, 120 times light piece length, and three times finder scope, and a full size adjustable tripod here. So let's flip this around on the back and see what else is in the box. Okay, as you can see on the box, it's the picture of the package contents. How's that? You know, the refractor's telescope, 60 times, 120 times eyepiece, mirrored eyepiece, quick screw for assembly. Just giving you an example of what you could possibly see. Um, here are some more of the features here interchangeable lenses, three times finder, lightweight, durable, full adjustable tripod, mirror diagonal eyepiece, quick view, and great for seeing stars. And planets here all right so let's go ahead and get this box open okay so we got it unboxed here as you can see here's a little instruction manual that just tells you a little bit of the details here how to set it up here's your telescope right here here's some of the eyepieces as you can see, it gives you two of them, the 60 and the also the 120. Um, here is the viewfinder right there. Here is the other viewing piece, and here is the tripod. Okay, so as we pull this out here, as you can see, um, made of aluminum it's, it's sturdy enough to be actually do what it needs to do which is hold the telescope up and actually view what you need to view so we're going to pull the actual vivitar out as you can see that's where it screws in at here is the protector for the actual lens and here is the other piece where, depending on what you want to go, the 60 or 120 will actually go there. There's a couple other pieces down there. And here's the other piece for the viewfinder, which goes on top here. So these are all the pieces that's in the box. So let's go ahead and get this together and see what the final view may look like. All right, guys, so we got it unboxed here. As you can see, everything is all set up. And just kind of review um, just out the bat. Um, the tripod is, is, like I said, it's aluminum. It's okay, but it's not as tall as I thought it would be or even have some kind of adjustment. So you definitely would either still have to, depending on how tall you are, would definitely have to prop it up a little bit or kind of um, get on your knees and kind of look through it. Um, me, I'm six foot two, so it's still a little short for me. But as you can see, everything is uh, connected here. It's the refractor lens, and as you can see, as I look outside, go bears. And at the nighttime, I'll be able to, on a clear night, definitely have a good view of the stars outside. So, just wanted to give you my review and my impressions on it. Um, what I can see, I can still see pretty far, you know, uh, kind of foresty backyard for me, so I can still see kind of far animals, deers, things like that, but in the nighttime skies is what I'm looking forward to. So this is just the unboxing and the first initial review. As I uh, get ready to wrap this up, this guy, subscribe. Thanks for watching and look forward for the next video of reviewing it in the nighttime sky. Hopefully we can get some good views. Thanks for watching.